this is the first quality that Allah describes about this personality whose period of being in the womb of the mother and the period of weaning was 30 months. Normally a child is in the womb of mother for nine months and the period of weaning, the breastfeeding is two years. That totals it up to 33 months. But Allah describes about a person who is there for six months and two years of win winning and that is 30 months. Mufassirin have given names of three personalities. One is Yahya bin Zakaria, the other one is Nabi Isa, and the third one is Imam Hussein alayhi salam. I want to mention and I want to say that this ayah describes Imam Hussein alayhi salam because when we go forward it says, Hatta balagha ashuddahu wa balagha arba'ina sana. وَقَالَ رَبِّي أَوْزِعْنِي أَنْ أَشْكُرَ نِعْمَتَكَ الَّتِي أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْ وَعَلَى وَالِدَيْ Until they reach to the stage of maturity and that stage of maturity at the age of 40. Yahya bin Zakaria died before the age of 40. Nabi Isa alayhi salam was raised from this world before the age of 40. So these two verses, this verses does not apply to these two personalities. It definitely applies to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. When he prays to Allah, وَقَالَ رَبِّي أَوْزِعْنِي أَنْ أَشْكُرَ نِعْمَتَكَ الَّتِي أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْ وَعَلَى وَالِدَيْ O oh Allah, give me that ability and give me that strength to be thankful for all the blessings that you have revealed upon me and you have revealed upon my parents. That blessings that you have bestowed upon me and the blessings that you have bestowed upon my parents. Imam Hussein Islam is that personality whose parents were the center of blessings. And this is proved by the words of the Holy Quran which we recite every day. Surat al-Ladhina an'amta alayhim. The path of those on whom you have bestowed your blessings. The personality, the, the parents of Imam Hussein al-Islam are the center of the blessings. Furthermore, Imam Hussein salam or the verse continues and it says, An'amta alayhi wa ala walidayhi wa an a'mala salihan tarzah. And I perform that good deed by which you will be pleased. And the noble act of Imam Hussein alayhi salam is such, the virtuous act of Imam Hussein alayhi salam is such that there was a call, Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'inna irji'i ila rabbiki raziyatan marziyya. وَأَنْ أَعْمَلَ صَالِحًا تَرْضَاهُ وَأَصْلِحْ لِي فِي ذُرِّيَّتِي Imam Hussain al-Islam is that personality whose prosperous generation will continue up to the day of judgment. And in that generation we find the excellent example of Ibadus Salihin, the virtuous 
people, the virtuous slaves of Allah. Oh Allah, what has that person found who has lost you? And what has he lost when he has found you? And Imam Hussein alayhi salam, is that, that on the plains of Karbala, he says very clearly, I lost everything, I sacrificed everything. I found Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah Azza wa Jal is the one. Every step of his movement and every step that he took was according to the teachings of the Holy Quran. So one lesson that we take from there is, elders, brothers, is that when we study the life of Imam Hussein, when we commemorate the shahadat of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, we should not forget the Holy Quran. The point I want to make is that even when his head is bowed in front of Allah, at the time when the dagger is on his neck, he says, Ridan bi ridaka wa tasliman li amri. My pleasure is in your pleasure, and my head is bowed, and my obedience is totally towards you.